What is going on to all my Outer Range fans out there and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again breaking down episode 3 which was titled The Time. An episode in which we learn a little bit more about the Abbas land. We also get deep themes around DNA and soil and secrets making its way to the light. But more importantly we got mountains that disappear in this episode. We're going to be discussing that and so much more in today's spoiler discussion. But before we get into it make sure you're checking me out on all my other social media accounts. If you're new to the channel and love early movie reviews, TV breakdowns, and live streams will come and join the community today by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And as you all can see on the screen now, if you enjoyed today's spoiler discussion of episode three, well, make sure you're liking this review and also sharing it. Let's try to get this video up to 200 plus likes, but more importantly, let's have that discussion in the comments from your pros, your cons, the deeper meanings you took away from the episode, your thoughts, your theories, and predictions about what happened in the episode. And of course, let's talk about the future of what you all hope to see in this series. But speaking of the future, let's talk about the past. I want to thank you all for watching last week's review. But more importantly, I asked the question, do you want to have this discussion every week with this show? And you all said yes. So here we are breaking down episode three. And I will let you all know I am pre-recording this. So by the time this video is out, I would have seen episode four, reviewed episode four. I haven't seen it quite yet, but I will leave that review in the description below. So once you're done watching this review of episode three, you can get my thoughts on episode episode four. So that's how we're going to handle these reviews moving forward. But let's go and move forward with my thoughts this third episode, which I thought was fantastic. Full spoilers ahead as we open the episode with this monologue from Royal talking about the history of the land. There's been a lot of deaths, but there's also been a lot of reborn and the land in the sky stays the same. So we're getting a little bit of backstory this land is very sacred, and we got a hint of that very early on. I want to say episode two, when we saw Royal take his son down to the county's office, and they looked at the map, and there's a lot of history, a lot of importance, and important things that happen on this land, which we'll talk about in this review. But moving on to another reference of time, we see a Deputy Joy talking to a young lady at the convenience store, and she's talking about the future, and one of the commentators talking about the Denver Broncos, how they can predict the future and pick out their quarterbacks there's very there's something unique going on about Wyoming and time in this void having a special meaning to this land but it's in this moment that she gets the hint that there's someone attempting to try to rob the convenience store and it's important to remember that in this conversation the gentleman in the back seat talks about there's a lot of people going missing recently there's a lot of people that you know he mentioned something about one of his cousins went missing for six seconds and disappeared so my question is how long has this been going on? Is this void? Does it move around? Has it always been on this part? I don't think so, because obviously Royal would have found this years ago, right? So how often does this void come to this land? Is it like once a year, every couple months, every 10 years? Let me know your thoughts and theories on that as we move on to Joy's competition, paying a visit to the department, and he's wondering about the whereabouts of Trevor. But also, speaking of Trevor, we get the conversation at hand between Wayne and his two boys as he seems to have a change of heart here. He actually wants to make a offer to the Abbott's land and doesn't want to wait to the hearing that seems to be favoring them, but he also seems to be very desperate. Like there's a time, there's a lot of theme of time. He really wants to get this land. I don't know if Wayne has encountered the void before and maybe, you know, I'm just thinking of Back to the Future with Biff, maybe Wayne fell into the hole at one point when he was younger at one point. And it, again, maybe it comes up every 10 years, but him going to the hole, we we all know what happened to Royal in episode two. When he went into the hole, he saw the future. So I don't know if Wayne, you know, again, going back to the back, back to the future, if he saw like certain things in the future and predicted certain things to get him the wealth that he has, the land that he has, the money and the house that he has. So I'm very curious on how much Wayne knows about the void because he seems to have connections to animals and he talks about the mating of bats and whatnot. Wayne knows more than he's alluding to, but in this scene also, it's important that he mentions that their wife, you know, you sound just like my wife when he's talking to his older son, Luke. 
Did his wife die? Did she leave the family? Is she still around? Let me know your all's thoughts on that as we see Luke tells his younger brother he's not going to make that offer and not listen to his dad in his time. But again, let me know what you all are thinking about Wayne. Does he know more about what's going on than he appears? Let's talk about that. As we move on to going back to those opening lines about the soil, we cut to Autumn who finds and appears to find this rock that has some type of significance to her. We know from episodes one and two, she she is called to the Abbott land. And I'm going to share with you all my thoughts of who I think she is. But that rock, what do you all think is the significance of that? Is that rock been there for hundreds of years and she is discovering this and this is just a relic of her just kind of putting the pieces to the puzzle because she has a conversation with Royal a little bit later in regards to you travel to the future. So she is somewhat aware of time travel being important to this land. Let's talk about that. As we see her come across the same buffalo that we've seen in previous episodes, which has the arrows on its side. Now, I think it's safe to say or to speculate or theorize this buffalo is from the past, and however that buffalo came across the void, we know that it went there and went into the future, our present timeline, and obviously, you know, no disrespect to the buffalo breeds, but it's probably not smart enough to go back to the hole to get back to whatever timeline it's at, which it seems like going back to the opening sequence, it's probably arrows from back in the day, so there's a lot of stuff going on. When you go in the hole, you go to the future, but can you go back to your present timeline? A lot of deep stuff going on with the time travel there. Moving on to our next conversation with Autumn, she has some pretty good taste in music. As I'm a big fan of Kendrick Lamar, she's listening to DNA. Now, the significance of this song is, is something important within her DNA, and maybe it relates to Royal and her being not the sister per se, as we'll get that conversation a little bit later, but I am theoretically Rising, I believe that Autumn is the niece of Royal and when he has that conversation with his son a little bit later in regards to you know he left his mom she's still alive he also left his younger sister now I think his sister had a daughter by the name of Autumn might be wrong but let me know your thoughts on that as we cut to her picking up her prescription of La Mosha Dream which actually treats seizures but also treats bipolar disorder. Now, I wonder, is that a side effect from her accident when she was nine years old? Let me know your thoughts on that. But we see that she has a conversation with Perry and we get a little bit more information on his missing wife, who we learned that they have been married for over 10 years, but she's also been missing for nine months. Now, let's just speculate about what do you all, based on these first three episodes, what do you think happened to Rebecca? Did she go in the void? Did someone murder her? Now, I'm gonna share my theory. I think, and we're going to talk about the scene that we get here in a second with one of the Tilleran sons. I think that someone like Luke or maybe Trevor had, or Billy maybe had an affair with Rebecca. Maybe Royal found out about it. And not to get too dark, maybe Royal, because we know that he would do whatever it takes to protect his family and the legacy and the you know integrity of his family. Maybe he has something to do with her disappearance, or it could have been maybe the Tillerin's sons did something to her. Let me know your speculations on that, but it's in this conversation that Autumn mentions to him about sharing something important with him. And she goes over the story about finding her personal light switch in the darkness. Now, I took that as the moral of the story is, in your dark times, you can find the end of the light. And I think that she might be alluding to the end of the light might be the truth of what happened to Rebecca, whether that she's still alive, whether she passed away, or maybe the truth is she knows what happened to Rebecca. Let me know your thoughts on that conversation there as we move on to another important deeper meaning of music as we see young Amy getting off the bus and she takes a ride from Billy and we hear Billy say to her I wonder if your mom skipped town with Trevor and it's very important about going back to Kendrick Lamar DNA and this song here which just this shows my taste in music I have a wide variety of music I can listen to Kendrick Lamar and listen to uh, Fleetwood Mac and they're talking about dreams now the importance of that song as he's singing the song out loud this is a song about friends and lovers in different entanglements. If you all don't know Fleetwood Mac, great uh, group of artists, but there was, during that time they, sh they made that song, there was a lot of like speculation about people in the group having affairs and people divorcing each other. So it is a song about lovers and players being played. So I think we see Billy talking about, again, alluding to maybe that your mom slept with one of my brothers and maybe skipped town with one of my brothers. I might be wrong. Let me know your thoughts on all that there. As we cut to a very interesting moment here with Cecilia believing that she comes 
comes across Rebecca in the streets. And also she's struggling with her religion. And we knew this from the earlier episodes that there's clearly tension between Cecilia and Royal because we know Royal isn't a believer. He doesn't have faith in God. And we see that Cecilia somehow, she's now starting to struggle with her own faith and her own religion. But the question is, did she see Rebecca? And is she back in town? I don't know if she's having some, again, she's struggling with her religion, but what does that have to do with her being it, thinking that she saw someone that wasn't there. Let me know your significance and your deeper meaning of that scene there. As we move on to Joy approaching Rhett about the DNA found on Trevor's belt, and he plays coy, but I want to go back to she finds the DNA, goes back to the Kendrick Lamar song, which is a big theme of this episode, the importance of DNA, and he plays a coy like, no, I don't know what happened. He tells his dad what's going on, but the importance of this scene is, well, number one, we learned that Royal is a, a big legend town because he used to ride bulls and it's a family uh, passed on from generation to generation but more importantly unfortunately Rhett is now on Joy's radar in regards to being the number one suspect of Trevor's disappearance as we go to seeing Rhett and Maria and their romances continue to grow from the last previous weeks as they make out at the bar unfortunately which I thought it was so weird that she left him like she knew that he was visibly drunk and she didn't take the time to make sure that he you know gets an Uber or drives him back to the Abbott's land but neither here or there he unfortunately uh, takes it upon himself to pee in the public and unfortunately he pees on a police officer's car which leads him to getting arrested which unfortunately isn't good for him because that obviously leaves him with having a conversation with joy and it's within this conversation that she tells him that she's going to go ahead and question everyone that was at the bar that night of trevor's disappearance and this is where i think it had a little bit to do with his consciousness and him feeling bad but he thought it was a good idea to let her know and also think it has to do with him being drunk she he lets her know that he got into a fight which we know is to be true and then she says did anyone else see this fight and he lies and says that it was just him and trevor in the fight that night so lies run deep in the abbott family which speaking of the abbott family this is a huge moment here as we see the speaking of the truth as royal tells his young son Rhett about what actually happened to his parents and this is where he goes into the story about him running away from his family after the death of his dad Dad, but he lied about his mom dying and like I mentioned earlier his mom is well we don't know if she's still alive now but he was she was alive when he left at a young age but also he left his sister and this goes back to my theory I think it's safe to assume and not safe but I think my big theory is I think that uh, Autumn is his niece from his sister who may or may not still be alive and also you know mother may or may not be alive but I think there's some importance of that moment there let me know again your speculations and your theories of the connection between those two characters as we get another moment here as it's revealed that when we saw Royal waiting for Rhett he took it upon himself to again he's willing to protect his family at any cost at any means necessary my man Roy Royal took the evidence, the belt buckle of Trevor with his son's blood on there. He takes it and throws it in the hole, which we're going to talk about it. When you throw things in that void, they come back to the light. The truth is revealed. We'll get into that here in a second. But as we move on, we meet a new character by the name of Frank, who is somewhat of importance to this town, who probably can sway the votes, or not sway, but help Joy become the sheriff of the town like she wants to. But it's in this scene... He talks about the significance of what are you going to do about all these prehistoric animals and creatures finding their way on this land, a la that buffalo, as he talks about, you know, seeing some other type of prehistoric animal. Look, if we get dinosaurs in this show, I'm going to lose my mind, but I think that there is some significance, again, about pure, pure historic, older uh, relics and creatures and things making its way into the void and coming into the present timeline. We're going to see some crazy stuff. I'm looking forward to all that coming in the future of this show. But moving on, Royal wants to start over with Autumn as he asks that she keeps everything to herself. But he also asks, what happened to you at the age of nine? She doesn't really get into details. She just says that she had an accident. But he has another question for her. Hey, Autumn. Why did you push me in the hole? As she goes on to say, she just wanted to see what happened, but she's happy that he came back. He wants to make a promise to her that she keeps the secrets to themselves, and he wants her to stay away from the family. But oh no, 
She wants to know more. She wants to know what actually happened to Royal when he went into the void. As he goes on to tell her what he saw, he doesn't go into details. He just alludes to, I saw the future. And it was a different time. It was a different land. And this is where we see her say, oh, you traveled through time. And this is a big moment here. As he says, can we just agree to you keep this secret and I'll tell you more about what I saw this is the second time they shook hands, and I went back to episode one because they shook hands in episode one. I didn't see anything disappear when that happened, which makes me think that that stone that she found has some significance, but also more in detail, as they shake hands, we see the mountain disappears behind her. My man Roy, the Abbott family can play a poker face. They have a poker face because if I see a mountain disappearing, I'm freaking the hell out, but he doesn't bat an eye. He sees the mountain disappear as well as Joy as she's driving on the road. She sees this happen at the same time, but but it's important to note, and this goes into my theory about this time in information, about her significance. Is she from another time? Like, again, I think that she is the niece of Royal, which I could be wrong, but my whole thought and my mindset is going to multiverse and time travel. When you're misplaced on a timeline, that can disrupt the fabric of reality. So with them shaking hands and whatever this rock is, and if there is a family blood, Someone doesn't belong on this timeline, whether it's Royal or whether it's, you know, um, you know, Autumn. And it could be Royal because we know that he went in the void. So he might has disrupted his timeline because we know that he's dead in the future. I don't know, man. This is why I love this show. I love time travel. Let me know your thoughts on why that mountain disappeared. Is it because they're disrupting the fabric of reality? Is it something else entirely? Let's discuss that as we end the episode on quote on the wall. Oh, Lord, reveal yourself. Joy comes into the department. She hears about people calling in about the Missy Mountains. We also see young Amy taking a walk down to those mountains as she discovers Trevor's body. She runs home, tells her family. We see Royal calls Joy and says, hey, you know, Amy found the body of Trevor and we end the episode. So this goes into when you throw things in that hole, in that void, the truth comes out into the light, which makes me think, what else was thrown into that void? I don't know. Uh, royal shirt with Trevor's blood on it. So that's going to pop up somewhere. Someone's going to find it. And that could get them in some serious stuff. Uh, and also some other evidence that he threw in there. And I don't know. Is there another person by the name of Rebecca that was in that uh, void at some point in time? will, I guess, find out. So, uh, and also, like I mentioned earlier, I forgot to say that he also threw the belt buckle into that void. So I think all these lies will find its light and the truth will be revealed. What a fantastic episode. I, again, love the themes of DNA, family ties, the importance of the soil, the death in the reborn of this land, but things staying the same, like the sky and the soil. So there's a lot of depth and a lot of information there. The time travel elements about why that mountain disappeared, messing, disrupting the fabric of reality. Is Autumn related to Royal? Is that his niece? Is that someone from another timeline? So much to look into. I'm about to watch episode four, but before I do that, I want to end this video by knowing your thoughts, favorite moments, least favorite moments, your deeper meanings, your predictions, and what you hope to see in the future, which again, I'm recording this in the past. I'm about to watch the future fourth episode. So again, that episode will be in the description in this video. Thank you for watching this review. If you all can do me a favor and make sure you're liking it, sharing it, and commenting on this video, and make sure that you're subscribed and you're hitting that notification bell. Thank you again. Hope you're staying safe. As you can see on the screen now, come and join the family. Watch my review of episode four and my other content. We'll catch you all on the next breakdown.